so uh, we fitted the um, charging cable with a fusing line it's plugged into there through the fuse onto the tag I've left it out here so you can see it uh, there's no fuse in that it takes the standard car blade type fuses uh, but that then protects the charging circuit I've got the colours off the ignition switch feeds red on is yellow start is purple blue is choke stop is white to black black being the negative in this case so I've fed some 5 core cable through and uh, just about to make some terminals up on it for connections so as usual we started off fine this morning but now the wind's howling so if you get wind noise apologize for that but this is where we've got to so the white from that five core wire I've had to splice in just here I've yet to heat shrink that it's a heat shrink type connector but I've put a bullet connector here to give a quick disconnection if we need it the red from the solenoid is now going to the orange on the five core cable the green is coming up to the blue for the start uh, for the choke solenoid and the earth is fastened under one of the screws itself what we've got left um, so that's the kill the black is coming up for negative and uh, that leaves yellow as a spare wire which I'll wrap up and tuck onto the wire itself none of it's tidied up if I tidied it up you probably couldn't follow the sequence but now you can see what I've done this would actually go to the other white wire here but they've spliced in one there so I've brought it out split it and joined that to it on the key switch when you turn it that one will be then fed down to earth and that will kill the engine so that's this wiring at this side done so I'm now going to tidy it all up well we've got sunshine now thank goodness everything neat and tidy let's put a cable tie around the fuse 5 amp fuse in it cable tied the positive and negative just underneath the seat there I can get the battery in and through that hole underneath the seat so that's the next job and drilling out for the uh, uh, ignition switch so put together a bracket loosely fastened at the moment that's where the battery is going to go the cables are here so they just need to pass up under there curve up and onto the battery so that's that section and then it's uh, drilling out for the uh, key switch I've uh, marked out for the ignition switch to come up through so the keys on the left hand side I wonder why I've done that well to my mind key then is on the left hand and the throttling gear shift is on the right so you can turn and start whilst operating the throttle so uh, the battery leaves the cable tied up passing through under the seat up and onto the battery just there the other cable passes by and down underneath down there we have the uh, key switch in position key goes in there yeah. hopefully see the wiring in position try to make it as neat as possible so that goes in, single turn is power on from the battery, throw the switch up here, we should have the uh, GPS speedo, the GPS speedo come on, it's in position, if I press you can hear the uh, solenoid going, if I turn you can hear it turn over so that's the key switch just a bit of tidying up to do 
Um, that's the original key switch, uh, sorry, safety lanyard with all the uh, different ones on. I'll try and find one with the correct one. Put the cowl back on and clip off the little bits of uh, cable tie tails. But quite pleased that I've completed that.